Jay, appreciate it. So plans to build that facility to house dangerously and mentally ill patients, dangerous and mentally ill patients. It was supposed to go next to a school in North Baton Rouge, so that was all scrapped a few weeks ago, mainly because of a big public outcry. The public, well, you created so much concern that one councilman wants to make sure that this issue never happens again. Our Perry Robinson spoke with him this uh, evening. Perry, good evening to you. Uh, what can you tell us? Hey Greg, the councilman spearheading this plan wants to create something that will still allow people to build these facilities, but in a safer place away from our schools and neighborhoods. Forest Heights Academy of Excellence is the highest performing school in North Baton Rouge. But when word got out that a hospital housing dangerous and mentally ill people was coming next door, a handful of the best teachers and students wanted to transfer out. For this to be the highest performing school in North Baton Rouge, I actually have a waiting list to get into. It showed us the magnitude of the impact on not only this, but the community as a whole, because when they leave, the neighbors start to leave as well. We start to see decline in the community, and we can't have that, especially in District 5. Plans to build the psychiatric facility was scrapped last month after hundreds of people started to raise concerns. But one city leader wants to make sure this issue never happens again. Councilman Daryl Hurst will present a resolution to the Metro Council to put some distance between similar facilities and schools and neighborhoods. He does not want a facility of that kind to be within two miles of a school or within one mile of a residential area. I don't want to add a negative factor to something that we're focused on improving. Hurst told us he supports psychiatric hospitals and believes they are needed, but he thinks they should not go right next to a school. He says the public outcry from the community was too much to ignore. I'm not against the operator. I'm not against the facility or the type of facility. I'm just against it being where it is in District 5 in that community. Hurst believes he will get unanimous support from the council to get this passed. When you elect somebody to the Metro Council, you're not electing them specifically for that district. You're electing them to make the decision for their parish. And the next Metro Council meeting will take place next Wednesday. Greg, back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Perry. Appreciate that.